Roaring into the overcast skies of northwest Florida, the future of air power, according to both the UK and US military. The F-35, or Lightning II, as it'll be known in Britain, is being touted as the most capable stealth fighter in the world, and is so new the first operational pilots from the UK only started to fly it a few weeks ago. Explain to us how this plane is so different to any other. Having come back from the Harrier and the F-18, that the aircraft handles absolutely exceptionally. Um, very, very responsive, uh, and even in these bumpy conditions out there today, it was, uh, it was relatively easy. It's, uh, it's probably her dream, uh, sort of something that I've always wanted to do is fly fast jets and fly the, sort of the best fast jets in the world and here we are with a fantastic fifth gen platform uh, and I'm lucky enough to be one of the first guys from the UK flying it on a fairly regular basis so um, it's better than working for a living, put it that way. At around £100 million each, Britain only has three F-35s so far and they're all in the United States. The first squadron on British soil won't be up and running for another five years so the Defence Secretary took time out from a visit to Washington to watch the F-35B, the version the UK is buying, do its stuff. <laughs> Nevertheless, Philip Hammond gave the clearest indication yet that the UK may not buy all the jets it had planned to. Well, our first buy is going to be 48 aircraft. That will deliver us the carrier uh, fleet that we need. And then later on in the life of the aircraft, when we're looking to replace our Typhoons, we will buy further aircraft, but we haven't decided how many at this stage. And after that, it's all dependent on politics, money and the state well, of the world? Well, it's, it's, it? it's dependent on politics, money and the state of the world, uh, but it's also dependent uh, on uh, what is not yet clearly known, what the mix between manned fighter jets and unmanned aircraft is going to be. The problem for the F-35 is that it's flying into what amounts to the perfect storm. It may well be one of the most capable fighter aircraft in the world, but it's also one of the most expensive. And it's coming to service at a time when the world's defence budgets are being slashed. So in future, the biggest threat to this aircraft probably won't be enemy forces, but accountants back home deciding just how many they can afford to buy. The F-35 has its critics on both sides of the Atlantic who question the astronomical cost of the project, reportedly up to $400 billion and rising. But you won't find any naysayers round here at the 33rd Fighter Wing. David Bowden, Sky News, Eglin Air Force Base.